hear stories about what happened. Okay, this video is going to start off where you're going to get to see kind of what Omnimax slash IMAX Dome really is. And let me say this first though. When you see the little illustration going by, that really is nothing like the actual experience of it. Um, when I saw The Force Awakens in the IMAX Dome at the McQuain Center in Birmingham, Alabama, I sat actually right below the projector. And what you had to do, you have to lean back in the seat. And the screen literally goes, it's not 180 degrees like left and right. You can literally look back behind your head and that's how you see the left side. You have to look way over to the right to see the right. And you can see the top of the screen if you're leaning your head back a little bit. Um, so what you really have to do when you're watching an actual feature film in Omnimax, you just have to kind of look straight ahead. You gotta lean back and just look. You're looking up. That's how you're watching the movie. So you're not watching a movie straight on. You're leaning back. The seats are angled and you're looking up. So I would not suggest seeing it in Omnimax for the first time because you're not going to get to see the whole movie. It's really meant to be an experience. That's really what it is. So after you've seen it, if you have a chance to go to Omnimax, definitely check it out because it, it, it's really cool. It's just that feature films are not intended to play on a screen that size and that those kind of dimensions. It's just not meant to be that way. I mean, movies in Omnimax are meant to be like 45 minute nature films space films it's meant to put you in that world you know that situation but a feature film it's just not shot for those dimensions the framing isn't meant to be on that kind of a screen it's like when you have Kylo Ren on the right side and you have um, Daisy Ridley on the left you have to literally I mean you're literally looking back and forth you, it's hard to see them you have to really you can't do it so you're missing a lot of the stuff so it's really meant for people that have seen the movie already. And I'm sure that people did that saw it in Omnimax for the first time, they're going to go back and watch it again later, obviously. But um, So yeah, it's meant to be really just an experience. It's the biggest possible screen you could possibly ever see it on. I mean, there's no, <laughs> there's no other screen that could possibly be bigger and wider and just that kind of a scale. You're looking at eight stories high. I mean, the screen literally, when you're looking up at it, it's probably a good 50 feet above your head, but it, it, it's so big that it feels like it's literally right in front of your face. I mean, it's really crazy. It's hard to explain, but yeah, I definitely do not recommend seeing it for the first time in Omnimax. <laughs> definitely not. Um, and I'll talk about other formats. Uh, the first time I saw it was in 2D on opening Thursday night. I had to sit in the front row. Um, next time I saw it in standard real D 3D, and I sat in the middle that time. And um, I did see it in the IMAX 3D, which of course is not gonna be real IMAX, it's gonna be a smaller sized IMAX, but it's bigger than your normal screen. See, IMAX, when they put movies out, they call it the IMAX experience, IMAX 3D, that's not real IMAX. Actually, real IMAX, the screens are very limited. Um, like in Georgia, the Mall of Georgia, that's the only true 70 millimeter IMAX screen that show, but it's not like the Omnimax. It's just a bigger screen. Um, it's actually it's kind of a vertical shape. Is what it is. You're, it's meant to be like all encompassing, but it's just not. It's not like the Omnimax. You can still make out what's going on. But um, actually, the way I would suggest seeing The Force Awakens is on 2D. I mean, that was the that's the way. That's, feature films are meant to be seen on a regular screen. They're not meant to be they're not meant to be where you can't see what's going on. So if I was going to recommend seeing The Force Awakens in the best possible way, I would try to find a um a theater that has actually it's called the premium large format. Um that's what you want. Like if you have a Regal Cinemas near you, they have something called RPX, which is Regal Premium Experience, and those screens are actually bigger than the normal size screens. Um, and if you can find a 2D showing on one of those, that's the way to go. And it would be awesome too if IMAX um, had something that was not 3D. That would be cool too to see it on a bigger screen than normal, but not 3D. 
I'll tell you why though. Regular real D 3D is terrible unless the movie is shot actually in 3D like Avatar was. Because the conversions are just not that good and you actually get a darker picture when you watch it in 3D. It's just not a really good experience. And um, yeah, The Force Awakens was not shot in 3D. It had a really quick conversion. And the only thing that really stands out in 3D for that movie was really... Yeah, there was one cool shot of a Star Destroyer. It kind of stuck out. That was kind of cool. But overall, you're looking at a darker movie. I mean, 2D, Force Awakens was shot in 35mm. It's meant to be seen regular widescreen and a regular screen. That's what it's meant to be seen as. So, um, But the IMAX dome was pretty cool because it was projected on film, 24 frames a second and 70 millimeter. It was pretty cool to see that. But yeah, it's not for everybody. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of people you could see, I could look around the theater, see them squirming, they're trying to look around, and I was doing the same thing, but I got used to it. I just had to sit there, lean back, look up, and the best way to actually see the IMAX dome, if you're going to see a feature film in it, is to sit far back as you possibly can. Uh, you might have seen some of the pictures in this video. I showed the screen. My cell phone cannot capture the whole screen. It, you can also see how it's curved. It really is a dome. You're sitting in a dome and the screen the top of that that whole thing you see the white area and everything that is the screen it goes behind your head it goes it's it's nuts so it is pretty it's a pretty cool experience but it's not one that you want to go see a movie the first time at it's something you want to go later so yeah my recommendation is definitely go see any feature film first to go see it on a regular screen of course the biggest screen you can find but see it in 2d Unless when Avatar 2 comes out, yeah, go watch that in 3D because it's going to be shot in 3D. So I hope this video helped you out or was maybe interesting a little bit.